Hello everyone, I am Erika of BiddingSchool.com and you are watching No One Has to Bid Alone, my weekly free workshop to make sure that every bidder has company all around the world. You can watch today's video live from the Bidding School Facebook Club and also from the Bidding School page. Later I will also upload it to our YouTube channel, to the Bidding School TV, so you can rewatch it as many times as you would like to. Please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me. Honey already did that. Honey, you are a mind reader. Thank you so much. And hi, Vania, and hi, Ginny. Lovely ladies, please, after the workshop or during the weekend, when you are enjoying a nice cup of coffee or tea with your breakfast, maybe, then make sure to head over to the Beading School blog and read our newest face-to-face -face interview featuring Ginny and her beautiful beaded jewelry. It's so nice to get to know you all better. And Ginny, thank you so much for answering our questions and showing your pictures to everyone on the blog. And hi, Kiki, and hi, Kirsten, and hi, Kata, and uh, hi, Mary Beth, and then another Facebook user, and Antoinette. So, seeing that, I would like to say that today we closed our Mary Star donation uh, 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 collect, uh, collection. And the Beading School community did awesome. And the funds raised from the tutorial that we uh, drew from Beth's uh, motif, the Mary Star, it reached 700, I think 710, if I remember it well. Indeed, 710 euros. So we are sending it to an organization aiding Ukraine and uh, workers who help refugees on the borders and medical assistance. So thank you so much, everyone who decided to buy the tutorial and contributed to our fundraiser. Today... We are going to bid the Sonia set. It's up to you if you would like to make it into an earring, if you would like to make it into a bracelet. So far I have half an earring and half of a bracelet. I really hope that I can complete it all, if not today, then during the upcoming days. I am going on vacation <laughs> tomorrow already. So from tomorrow until the 10th of April, the other two members of the creative team at Beading School, Zuzi and Veronka, will be going to take good care of you. There won't be coffee time. There won't be. No one has to be the one uh, next week. As the ladies yet are not doing live videos, they are learning step by step everything that, that uh, also I do in the team but not live videos yet. Or, Zuzi, are you up for a challenge? You have access to my account. <laughs> but they are coming with lots of interesting things for you. Zuzi is working on a tutorial or two. So you will be busy. You will be busy, I can promise. In the meanwhile, Lutka joined us. And Georgi and Kara is popping in to say hi. And some more Facebook user friends, Christine, Cynthia, Faye, Natalie is here, Marianne, Petra, Claudia, Meta, Nicoline, Cindy, Sherry, Jennifer, Ula, Martina. Oh, and if I haven't seen your, uh, haven't said your name, then please know that I try to greet everyone. But sometimes I see you only as Facebook user. In that case, you need to click the link above my video to give my broadcasting program permission to see your name and see your face. So, 
I will also miss you, ladies. Thank you, Cynthia. But I, I, will, I promise to come back with lots of inspiration and lots of ideas. And Zuzi and Veronica will take good care of all of you. So, what about the Sonia set? Bracelet and earrings. So, this is one of those jewels where you really need only a few ingredients to make it. So for the Sonia bracelet, the biggest bead that and or earring, the Sonia motif that you need, the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, bead that you need are the three millimeters Preciosa Bicon beads. Then you will also need two millimeter through two round pearls. And besides those, only seed beads and not a lot for one motif. So this is the perfect time that if you would like to also use up maybe some leftovers, then this is a good occasion. So you are going to need Miyuki Delica size 11 seed beads. I used two colors. My main color is the beautiful greenish tone. The number of it, it came in the Fuchsia Beading School Academy box and the number is 2506 available at the, in the Beading School uh, bead shop. It's called Dura Coat Galvanized Dark Aqua, uh, Aqua Green. It's a really beautiful, shiny, shiny green tone. Then my other color, it's also from the box. It's called Duracode Governized Matte Light Pewter. It's the number 1851F. So those are my two Delica beads. Then for the middle of the motif, there is a single size 11 round seed bead in the middle of the motif. I used the same as for the size 15 seed beads, the number 4202 called Duracoat Galvanized Gold. If you would like to spruce up the motif with some more bling, then this is the perfect place for a four millimeter Preciosa Swan rhinestones instead of adding the single size 11 seed bead so you can make your own decision and personalize the jewel in a way so you so it completely fits your style fits your mood fits your beading board i'm curious how will you end up finishing it so Zuzi also joined us and Maria and Reinhilde. Irina is here also. Welcome, Irina. I think it's Irina's first time. She also just joined the Academy. So welcome, Irina. It's really nice to have you here with us. Then Claire is here also. Vanya, the tutorial is available as always at novanhastobeadalone.com. If you head over there, then you can either download it. If you need my helping hand, then this is my contribution to help you during the current difficulties or you can decide to support the broadcast and buy it for, for five euros. I will also really appreciate it if you decide to invite your friends, tell them all about no one has to be alone, tell them about beading school. And thank you so much for your help in this. It's really important for us. Thank you so much for sharing the news. Also, hi, Nancy, and hi, Heike. And Cory is here and Donna is here too. So let's get started. Tutorial available at novanhastobeadalone.com. And I hope that your beading words are also ready. I'm ready with my uh, usual tulip beading needle size 11 and my usual Fireline 4LB or 0 0.12 millimeters. Hi Gunnel and hi Brit Marie. Sweden is also joining the fun. Wonderful. So let's get started. This is a bit of a brain exercise, by the way. You will need to be careful when picking up this first circle of beads. I messed it up a couple of times, so this is a friendly warning. 
<laughs> make sure to mm, follow the picture and to follow the instructions carefully. We start by picking up a size 15 seed bead. And if you look at the motif, then, oh, sorry, a little explanation before we would actually start. The motif has a little square in the middle that is filled in with the single round 11 seed bead that I mentioned earlier. This is where you can attach the size uh, the four millimeter preciosa suvan if you would like to go for more bling. The square will be constructed a little bit later. The sides are made from size 11 Miyuki Delica beads and the corners of the little squares have round 15 seed beads on every corner. And from every corner, we will bead a petal shaped motif. For the first one, where we start, we will pick up the beads in step one. And the trick with these petals is that first we will pick up the beads which are on the outside edge of this shape. And then we will make some connections to fill in the middle. And, uh, and, and, and then we will move from one round 15 to another. And we will construct one petal after another. And at the very end, we will connect these petals with single size 11 Miyuki Delica beads. And then up to you, you can add lots of different things at the bottom, actually. Lots of possibilities and bezeled cabochons or attach the motifs to each other with ring beads in, uh, in between, for example, or some other beads in between. It's up to you. And yes, Teresa, it's a brain exercise. I always mess up the, the uh, first circle of beads. So I want to be very careful now. Starting with around uh, 15 seed bead, then I pick up two pieces of Miyuki Delica. I pick up a two millimeter round pearl, another Delica, size 15, three millimeter bicone, size 15, Delica, size 15, and five Miyuki Delica beads. I really recommend also downloading the PDF from no one has to be alone.com as I mentioned. Not only watching the video, it will really help you. And now to complete this, round 15, Delica, round 15, Preciosa Bicon, round 15, Delica two millimeter round pearl and two more Miyuki Delica beads. So this is the sequence. I'm not going to repeat this because this is going to take me five minutes to just name all the beads. They are written down in step number one in the PDF instructions. And now I am beading through all of them one more time to join them into, I could say that a circle, but it will be a petal shaped thingy, you will see. And then I bead through the very first round 15 for a, first, for a third time. So this is how it looks like at the moment. 
So yeah, either the link that Susie posted or no one has to be the loan.com redirects you there too. So step one is finished. Step two, I am not adding any more new beads. However, I am retracing the thread pass while skipping the third Miyuki Delica from the group of five. So after beading through two, I skip one. Now I am starting to make this circle into a petal shape by making it pointy. Skipping the bead will make it pointy. And then when I'm back where I've started, I'm actually making this part pointy too. And I skip the round 15 where I started. And I bead up through Delica, Delica, 2 millimeter, Delica, round 15, Bicon, round 15, Delica, round 15. <laughs> In the meanwhile, Sen joined us, Oniko, Tinker Pearl, and Emmy. So this is how it looks like. After step two, we are shaping it into a leaf or petal. How is it going for you, ladies? I'm curious. Here, I pick up a three millimeter bicone bead and I skip all the five Miyuki Delicas here and I bead into round 15, Delica, round 15, Bicone, round 15, Delica, and the two millimeter round pearl. This is how it looks like at the moment. Hi, Robin, welcome. Here, I will join the two round pearls, the two two millimeter round pearls with a group of Delica, round 15 and Delica. And I continue upwards, starting from the round two millimeter bead stopping after the round 15 and then I bead into the bicone bead. And hi Liz. So this is how it looks like at the moment. Please let me know how is it going. Do you have any questions about this part? Zuzi in the meanwhile says, lovely is got to go. Enjoy beating and have a beautiful weekend. Same to you, Zuzi. And if you ladies would like to meet and talk to Zuzi, then tomorrow she's going to be your host at the Beading School Academy lunch break. It's a socializing uh, possibility with your fellow Beading School Academy students, every week, Saturday, same time for our students of the Beating School Academy. Susie will be waiting for you. So if there are no questions, then let's see step four. I'm actually starting out from the round 15 after the bicone. And I pick up a group of Delica, two millimeter and Delica. And I join, uh, join it into the round 15, which is in the middle of this extra added group of beads. After beading through the round 15, I pick up again Delica 
and two millimeter round per another delica and I bead into the round 15 and the preciosa bicone. So this is how the petal looks like. I think it's really pretty. It looks like a flower made of gemstones and jewels. And I was thinking that actually this petal can also be used as another component. I can actually tell that something is coming in the future where you will see this petal shape again. But until now, imagine this is a this is a motif that I just quickly beaded before the uh, class to show you that you can also do a square stitch bezel with a chaton and bead all the jewels where you would use an acre cabochon. You can also bead them with chatons with eight millimeters chatons. But imagine that you would create a little earring with an eight millimeter chaton and then hang this petal shape from the bottom. I think that would look pretty cool. What do you think, ladies? <laughs> Claire is asking. <laughs> Could it be used for another Audrey Hepburn necklace? Definitely. Exactly a year from now, again, on the 1st of April. It's a deal, okay? <laughs> Emmy is asking about replacing the 2mm pearls. Uh, Emmy, we are sending, by the way, everything all around the world. Uh, so it's not a problem to send some to you if you would like to have one. Also, we have free shipping above 75 euros. But if you would like to change the shape or the size, you will need to experiment. I don't have, unfortunately, enough time to experiment with replacements. So I can be like one motive, but then if you would like to change something, then you need to play with it on your own. And if you do that, then please post the result in the beading school club. We love seeing that. And we love if, uh, if a beader decides to share her experience about alternate versions. It's always so nice to learn from each other. And hi, Jana. <laughs> so, after adding these two groups, I would like to reinforce the connections a little bit and pull the beads tighter to each other. So in step five, I'm beading through this new group, but instead of starting out from the round 15, I started out from the bicone. Here I bead through the round 15 in the middle of this group. Then I go into Delica, two millimeter delica. And instead of beading into the round 15, I go directly into the bicone. And then I bead up all the way. to the round 15 where I started and my first petal is ready with this. Someone saying hi. I don't see your name unfortunately but welcome to the class. <laughs> hmm. Ula has some problems with it with the uh, necklace. Please, if you have uh, have a question about another design, then please either post in the club. I'm sorry that you encountered the problem. 
please either post in the club or uh, send us an email to info at beadingschool.com because now I would like to focus on this design that we are beading and someone who might watch it later might find it distracting if, I, if I'm going into details about other jewels. And hi, thank you, Ola, for posting it separately or sending an email. And hi, Mektab, and hi, Marta. Thank you so much, Ula. So now we are, I hope everyone is doing well with this little petal. Please let me know. <laughs> so now I'm constructing the little square in the middle. So starting out, from around 15, I pick up four pieces of Miyuki Delica beads. And I'm using my second color for this. I bead through all of the Miyuki Delica beads one more time to join them into a little square. And then I bead through the very first one again. So this is how it looks like at the moment. How is it going, ladies? I didn't really see feedback that if it's going well or if you have any questions, I would really appreciate it if you let me know how is it going. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. So if there are no questions, then let's go to the next step. So in step seven, I am adding the round 15 seed beads on the corners of this little square created from the Miyuki Delica beads. So since I already have one round 15, that's the starting bead of this first petal, then I need to add only three. And as the fourth one, I bead through the round 15 on the corner of the petal. So now you can see this little square from Miyuki Delicas and with round 15s. Honey is asking, where am I going on holiday? I'm going to Rome. It will be my first time in my life. And I'm very excited. I have never been to the Italian capital. And yeah, I really need some sunshine and some pizza and ice cream and culture. <laughs> so I can't wait. Oh, Beth is back after picking up a beading school package. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your package very much, Beth. Now, as I'm exiting the second round 15, I'm going to repeat that very first step and I pick up the same beads for that initial circle and create another petal. And then later I will do the same with the third one and the fourth one too. So I'm exiting 
around 15 on the corner. And then I pick up two Miyuki Delicas. So now I'm repeating that very first circle that I added. Two Miyuki Delicas, two millimeter round pearl, another Miyuki Delica, round 15, bicone, round 15, Delica, round 15, five Miyuki Delica beads for the upper part of the petal, three, four, five. Round 15, Delica, round 15, Bicone, round 15, Delica. You see how easy it's like to get lost in it? Round two millimeter and two delicas. Okay, I hope I got it right. And then I bead again through that initial round, round 15. And thank you so much for the well wishes, ladies. I, I can't wait. And Claire says, my younger daughter went there last week. <laughs> oh, Claire says, Thursdays are knocky days. If she has been to some really nice ones, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Natalie says, hope you get to spend some time in the Vatican. Mind-blowing artwork everywhere. We actually booked a tour to the Vatican. So I think it's going to be... Monday that we are going there for a five hour tour or so going up to the dome and to see the museum. So I can't wait. Thank you, Ola, and thank you, Faye and Antoinette and everyone. <laughs> Ola says, enjoy your gelato. Oh, that will be on my daily menu. I think gelato and pizza and gnocchi and ravioli and all kinds of yummy pastas. My flattening of beadwork will be so much more efficient after I come back, I think. Now I am repeating the thread path, but exactly as in the beginning, I am skipping the Miyuki Delica in the middle of a group of five to make it pointy. And I also skip the round 15 at the bottom. I bead up through the beads until I'm exiting the round 15 before the group of five Delica beads. So now, again, I have this petal or leaf shape prepared, the outside edge of this leaf shape, shape, shape prepared. So now I can fill in the middle. Claire says, my daughter was raving over the cornet toes. They are like croissants, but filled with different creams. That sounds really nice. I love croissants. Mm, they have a really nice little bakery right next to, well, like two minutes walking from us. So sometimes in the morning, I like to run there and pick up a freshly break, baked croissant. So that's how I started today. The day I picked up two nice still warm cheese croissants in the bakery. And with a cappuccino, that was really a lovely treat to give energy for the day. <laughs> So tell me, ladies, I'm curious. When 
traveling will be opening up more, or the possibility comes back, then do you have something on your mind where you would like to travel? A big trip, small trip, everything counts. I added the Preciosa Bicon to the top of the petal and a group of Delica Round 15 Delica to the bottom. And now I'm connecting the Round 15 to the Bicon with the group of Delica, 2mm round burr and another Delica bead. First, I'm connecting it in a way that I bead through the round 15 bicon round 15 sequence. And then I will repeat the thread path, but without beading through the round 15s next to the bicon bead. That will be the difference when I'm repeating the thread path. Oh, honey would love to go, but hubby doesn't like to travel. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about it. I visit some friends. And then Natalie says, I want to go back to the English Lake District. I think I lived there in a past life. That must be so beautiful and inspiring there, I think and so calm and refreshing. Christine says that she would like to go to Bulgaria and Paris and Crete. Ah, oh, nice wish list too. Velu the Veluve is beautiful, <laughs> especially when the Hyde Bloomen are blooming. <laughs> <laughs> and Claire says, I have managed to travel to Czech Republic and the Channel Islands, but I'm looking forward to flying to Florida next year. Oh, wow, that will be a really nice journey. How exciting. Beth says, I can only travel far when we find someone to stay on the farm to care for the animals. That is, that is indeed a limitation to, to care for the animals, but it's also, I bet, really rewarding being surrounded by, by animals. And someone's going to the Lake, lake District soon. Enjoy your holiday. Tinker Pearl says, I'm going to spend some time in the Alps this May. Enjoy the mountains. Oh, how nice. Liz says she's actually living close to the Lake District. Oh. <laughs> Kiki is going to Thessaloniki. Faye would love to go to Australia and some cruising. Oh, Aniko is going to Namibia. I hope it will happen after postponing it. I hope it will happen soon. Liz would love to go to Northern Ireland. Luna says, I would like to travel to the treasury and say, I will take uh, one of these and one of those and another of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> we would love having you, especially now in the big treasury. It's going to be pretty. And I hope that we can also in the future, like open it up maybe for a personal visit or organize some, some holidays together. That would be really nice. Martina says, I would like to travel to Prague to see my family and maybe Westerlo, Belgium, to see an old friend. 
Frag is calling, right? It's also always calling my name. I used to live there for two years and still nearly every year we are going back to, to see friends who during that time that we spent there became like, like family actually. Emmy says, I would like to travel once again in the western part of Spain between Cadiz and Gibraltar, in my opinion, is the most beautiful area. And the sherry in Cadiz? How do you like the special sherry in Cadiz? If I remember well, then Cadiz is famous for that. <laughs> Mariana says, oh, Mariana is traveling next Friday to Silt, a little German island in the North Sea, and in summer, uh, three weeks in Brittany in France. Enjoy it very much, Mariana. <laughs> How nice. It's also uh I think once I once I read somewhere that traveling is rewarding for the feeling of being somewhere else to experience something new, but traveling is also rewarding for the feeling when we are back at home again and then we can appreciate or hometowns, villages, cities, even more after being away for a little while. What do you think, ladies? In the meanwhile, my second petal is finished now. Oh, I just had an idea that if we would like to bead, for example, a V-shaped necklace, then this could be the starting point and we would be able to hang something down from the middle. What do you think? <laughs> Emmy likes the sherry from Tio Pepe in Jerez. <laughs> nice. Beth would love to go to New Orleans for a food tasting trip. Lots of spicy food. It must be really interesting also the city from, from this aspect as so many cultures mix. Tell us about it when you get to visit that. Vania is going finally home to Brazil for two months. I hope that your recovery is going well, Vania, so you will be uh, so it will be comfortable to travel for you. And hi Katya! And I hope, Cynthia, it will come true. Also some traveling. Heike would love to go to Spain. <laughs> Liz is mentioning a bidding school retreat <laughs> with fresh croissants, of course. <laughs> and actually, my colleague Andrea, colleague and friends, we went to high school together. So <laughs> my colleague and friend, Andrea, uh, she just told me today that in the town where the treasury is, she just discovered a chocolate manufactory where they are like making the little bonbons and little handmade chocolates. So I think visiting the treasury and maybe combining it with some chocolate tasting. That would, so, that would sound nice. <laughs> oh, Antoinette says, I'm homesick as soon as I leave. <laughs> Vania is still recovering. I hope you will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Beth would leave the animals with, uh, with her husband for a retreat. <laughs> Stan says, I want to go to Spain to work to Czech Republic because it's not so far from Belgium and I could eat some new cooking and vibe, uh, vibe it. <laughs> Thank you, Jonna. <laughs> so, how are the petals coming up? How are you doing with the petals, ladies? <laughs> I'm picking up beads for my third petal now. Funny that you mentioned spicy food with New Orleans. And also, of course, we mentioned chocolate. We always talk about chocolate. But <laughs> just before the broadcast, like five minutes before, I was like coughing and oh my God, I will have to write to you ladies that I will be a little bit late. As surprisingly, a piece of chocolate made me cough very much as it is seasoned with chili and I took a two big bite two big bite means like this as it's made with mm, with the spiciest chili of the world the I think it's called California Reaper if I remember well so even a small bite like this <laughs> My throat is, is actually still a bit sensitive. <laughs> Claire mentions that now we not only have dangerous fuchsia boxes, but also dangerous chocolate. <laughs> Seeing your comments lately that you miss the chocolate uh, I think we kind of managed to develop a little addiction to beading school chocolate <laughs> not only to beading school boxes so we will do our best <laughs> chocolate is out for now unfortunately chocolate is for special occasions <laughs> so at some moment, it will come back. <laughs> and Heike says that it can actually be also a butterfly. I think so too. Or someone has an idea of making it into a mermaid tail. So true, so true. <laughs> so funny that in the same shape, we see so many different possibilities and different like animal figures. But again, the Tushinsky a week ago, it was such a nice example that even if we beaded it already last week, we had a retro, no one has to be the lone workshop with the Tushinsky bracelet pattern that we beaded about two years ago uh, at the beginnings of No One Has to Be the Lone. And we went back to that design and we beaded it again. And it was so nice to see that even if there were many, many, many different versions beaded already two years ago, that now you ladies managed to come up with even more. And it is totally obvious from your pictures how you are like progressing on your own designing journeys, how you are adding personal touches, personal details, different variations of the same jewels. So it's really nice and rewarding to see. I love seeing your ideas. <laughs> Antoinette says she has some more addictions, also coffee. 
Jennifer says it may have been Carolina Reaper. She says, a friend of mine planted those to keep animals out of his garden. Yes, Carolina Re a Reaper. I remembered that something with C and then the Reaper, but not California. You're right. Thanks for the correction. <laughs> And I actually love spicy things, and I've had a bite of this chocolate already, but <gasps> this was a bit too much. <laughs> but still, I'm I'm waiting to have some more. <laughs> Is that like <laughs> funny? Like it hurts, but then you want some more <laughs> with spicy help, <laughs> spicy with spicy food. Beth has a question about the old no one has to be the long videos. Are we allowed to be just from the video or should we purchase all the tutorials as well? I am a visual be a learner mostly. With, if there is a video from the Juval, then it is okay if you beat it from the video. If there is no video, then, then we appreciate it. That. Uh, to buy the tutorial but if it was made into a video then it's it can be done And I even had seen an idea. Cynthia says it can even become a dragonfly. Indeed. And imagine some layering and attaching a petal on a filigree. What do you think? On one of the beautiful historic filigrees. I think that would be so very pretty. Zuzi had a dragonfly tutorial some time ago. It's available on the Beading School blog. And she decorated the filigrees. The filigrees were the wings of the dragonfly. And she decorated the filigrees with some beads. In the same way, you can also decorate filigrees with a whole beaded motif, a smaller beaded motif. So I think this petal would be perfect for it. I'm finishing my third petal, beading back to the middle square. So now I'm pushing my needle through round 15, delica round 15. And I can complete my fourth and final petal. Vanilla is asking if the filigree box will be available again. Yes, it will be. There might be some difference. We ordered some more filigree components. There might be some difference compared to the original filigree box, but definitely more his historic filigrees are coming. It usually takes around two, three months until they are manufactured. So it takes some time. It takes some patience. But yeah, they are coming. Talking about addictions, I'm also addicted to filigrees. So they are definitely coming back. 
<laughs> Indeed, Beth says we could also use the Dragonfly Body tutorial with the wings. Indeed. Cynthia is thinking about the 3D design. And I don't know your name, I see you as Facebook user, but our friend says, hang some bezel shot on in red for a sherry cluster. That's spot on for spring, I think. You could even go like full green with the leaves and then hang the bezel chatons, maybe the pure chatons and bead, bead a fruit for the spring. <laughs> so many ideas. I can't wait, like during the next week, I will be offline. So, Susie and Veronica, as I said, will be here for you. And also my other colleagues, of course. Uh, and afterwards I can't wait and I will switch on my computer again and I will check out the club and I bet it will be full of beautiful jewels. Beading my fourth petal now. I picked up the first circle and then I'm retracing the thread path and skipping the bead in the middle of the group of five to make it pointy. And I'm skipping also the round 15. Oh, and I think I made it through like picking up the initial circles for the petals without actually making a mistake. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> when I beaded the previous motifs that then I struggled a lot with picking up the right sequence, especially when beading the third or fourth petal, because then I thought like, oh, I nailed it. And I did not pay the necessary attention. <laughs> Indeed, a lot of ideas. And hi, Mary, welcome. It's also now tricky with time because there was a change here in our part of the world. We changed back from daylight saving time. And I know that the change is at another time than for you who are in the United States. So that might have been confusing. I hope that the Facebook events helped to figure, figure out when is it starting. And I hope that from next week we are all back on the same track. And hi, Patty. So again, I picked up Delica, 
two millimeter round per delica. I'm beading through round 15 by cone round 15. And then again, I pick up delica, two millimeter round per and delica. I bead back, bead through the round 15. And I retrace the thread pass with a little difference with skipping the round 15s on the corners before and after the preciosa bicon bead. Off. I will have to change now. <laughs> Someone says, I'm so sorry. She says, put the jewel in the center and cause the leaves to cup upwards. It can be nice if you want to create a 3D structure, but indeed, if that was not in your intention, then I hope that you can, you can uh, make it lay flat. Maybe with some more beads added. Cynthia, if you have any specific point where you get stuck, take a picture, please post in the club and we will do our best together with Zuzi, Veronica and fellow clubbers to help you out if there is some point where you need some extra help. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Lucia. <laughs> Sherry finds the notification handy. That's good to know. That's good to know. I will try to create that also for lunch breaks and all the special events that are coming up in the future to make it easier for you. And now that I beaded all four petals or all four wings, if I would make a butterfly, I am beading to a round 15 seed bead that is below a preciosa pie cone. And I'm connecting it to the same bead in the next petal with a Miyuki Delica size 11. So I picked up a Delica and I bead through the round 15 under the Preciosa Bicon from the next motif and the next petal and I bead back through the Delica and then through my original round 15. Ah, uh, Lucia is from Venezuela. Que bien. <laughs> Bienvenido. <laughs> <laughs> Sen says, love the turquoise with the gold. In fact, is it not like yellow? <laughs> not yellow at all this time. This is my bracelet from the previous week. And we had a discussion with fellow clubbers here about if yellow is nice or not. <laughs> And I'm so happy with the result that I actually made it into a full bracelet and this did not get into my UFO box, in fact. I have a full bracelet. Also, thanks to the idea of someone who said that I should include Navets at the beginning and at the start. That was a really good idea. And... 
Cynthia says it's so lacy. Indeed. Indeed, with all the seed beads, it's like a lace effect. And indeed, like yellow gold, there is rose gold, there is yellow gold, so white gold. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So it is yellow gold. <laughs> and by the way, I love yellow. It was one of those colors that in the past I could not imagine using it. But then I learned loving it. Learned to love it. And I'm adding my second Delica. between the round 15s, below the preciosas. How is it going with you ladies? Do you have any questions about the motive or any ideas that you would like to share? I'm really curious, what are you going to make it into? Gunal is feeding it later. She likes it, she says. Cynthia would like to have a Navet box. That's an interesting idea. What do you think about like... Like Navets, I think they can be used actually in many, many, many jewels as connectors mm, like here or as in the earrings that that we've also bid it recently so navets are indeed handy what do you think maybe about a navet pl plus a pier shaped glass cabochon we also use the pier shape a lot lately and that's also handy because the pier can also be not only a main element of a design but also for example you can hang it from the bottom of every anything you can set it into a metal close setting and frame it with delica beads and you can hang it from from the bottom of anything if you would like to add something shiny. Beth says it's not going well for her. She received a package from us, so <laughs> she's opening boxes instead of beading. <laughs> Enjoy. Cynthia is thinking about a 3D brooch. And Ginny says, yellow has never been my go-to color, but on the Tushinsky bracelet, it saved my color scheme. It was looking like an Easter basket, but adding a yellow fire polish toned it down. Ginny, by the way, I think I have never ever heard or read those two things in one sentence, toning it down, it's yellow color. <laughs> <laughs> But indeed, it really depends on the exact shade of the yellow and also the other beads, of course. And Stan says, a box is a good idea if you include metal cloth with it, I think. Martina also likes it. Ania says, a box of all the other crystal claw components. And Tabasco share. Maybe a box with a team of crystals in metal settings, so there is some diversity in the types of shapes. It's a really good idea. Katja says, a box is always a good idea. They are always calling my names. name. Jimmy says she's nearly done. I'm curious about it. Oh, and Sen says, for the person, it was Emmy, 
who was asking for the two millimeter size 11 seed beads or two millimeter diameter. Maybe try with some of your stash. Thank you so much, Sam. Enjoy your dinner, Kiki. Oh, lasagna. Donna is talking about connectors. Check back soon. <laughs> Few more weeks. Something, something is in the cooking. Donna says a box of the fun connectors and drops in metal settings. <laughs> That's a really good idea. <laughs> I love the sound of it. <laughs> By the way, I think that Andrea and Timmy are watching the broadcast. So I hope you made notes of the ideas of the ladies. <laughs> we should make it happen. <laughs> And now I connected the four petals. So I have a square, a nice, nice lazy square. I love the bling of it. And I'm going to finish it off by adding a simple size 11 seed bead in the middle. I'm adding it in the same color as the round 15 seed beads. I'm exiting a Delica. I picked up the round 11 and then I beat through the Delica on, its op on the opposite side. I beat back through the round 11 and then through the initial Delica bead. And my motif is ready. And it will either become the other half of the earring or another element in the bracelet. In the earring, I added a nacre cabochon, a preciosa nacre cabochon to the top with the square stitch bezel. The square stitch bezel, you can find the tutorial on the Beading School blog. It's uh, one of our great gifts to you. And uh, then I added a cup chain with a loop to the bottom. So that's how I finished it off. But there are many, many, many different possibilities of how to finish it off. It would also look like look uh, really nice without anything added to the bottom, I think, as a shorter version. And here in the bracelet, I'm adding 10 millimeter ring beads in between the motifs. What I want to be careful of when I'm making a bracelet, that I want to arrange the motifs in a way that the holes of the round 11s are parallel to each other, the round 11s in the middle. It's just a little detail, but it can be that extra touch that makes it look really like aligned. And I added the ring beads, by the way, with Delica beads square stitched to each other. Eight Delica beads clutch the, uh, the uh, ring bead. That's a perfect size for them. You can also add the ring beads with uh, size 15s, just a nice thin line of size 15s through the ring bead. And if I will look through your comments if you have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> we love, Duna says, my wish is her command. We love making your beading wishes come true. <laughs> it's nice to see you happy and getting inspired, ladies. And it says a box with all sizes of Rivolis. There could be one box with like Rivolis and one with the extra shapes. That would be uh, really nice, I think. 
And a bitter friend has an idea of adding some slender bugles on the sides. <laughs> that would look really nice, I think. Or some more dramatic. And the jumbo box. Cynthia says a jumbo box of both navets and metals and chatons and rivolis and everything. <laughs> Honey likes the design. Thank you, Honey. I'm curious of your version. Blue and red? Turquoise and red? Yeah. Vanya is asking about the art cabochons. We need some time to process everything and take pictures and uh, to upload them to the bead shop. They will be coming, but we need to ask you for a bit of patience. It is a lot of work. And thank you, Kunal. Sam says, I will do earrings with some glass rings I ordered. Because I like my earrings long. I do too. <laughs> Facebook friend says, I love the boxes. My husband, Kirsten, my husband is looking at me with wide open eyes and says, new box again. Kirsten, blame it on Donna this time. She has all these awesome ideas that what kind of boxes should we make. And as I said, I love we love making mid English come true. So if there will be a cabochon box or two or three cabochon boxes coming, then it was Donna's idea. Tinker Pearl says she loves the motif. Sen says, a bead dream, teacup bead. Okay, I will look into it. We had them in the past and we can order them again. So it's not a problem. It's our pleasure. If you have any ideas, by the way, then the best thing that you can do is send an email also to info at beadingschool.com. So then we can make notes because I don't want to uh, leave anything slipping my mind after the video. So, but also mention it here, send an email, we will make it through. Corinne wants a kilo. <laughs> Honey is working with my colors. Oh. <laughs> Surprise box. L2 cabochons, glass cabochons, filigree. Surprise assortment for everyone. <laughs> that would also be interesting. Tinker Pearl is waiting for four boxes of the beautiful chatons, the pure chatons you mean. Those, those are really nice, I think. <laughs> Okay, Lutka is also working. I think lots of attention to the tutorial and the video. Thank you. So ladies, thank you so much for today. It was really lovely to spend some time with you. I can't wait to see your Sonia Juvos. And other jewels, of course. Please remember that everything you can, when there is an acrylic cabochon, then you can change it into a pure chaton or other chaton and beat the same square stitch bezel. So you can do it with a new cutter motif or Ginevra too. And Susie and Veronica will take care of you next week in the club. Thank you, everyone, and have a nice week, nice weekend full of ideas. Bye bye.